Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do this very natural, headshot appropriate makeup look. It all depends on what you personally like, what you can personally do, your casting type, lots of different factors. So this is kind of what I'm calling my teenage older high school kind of look. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name's Catherine Steele and I put out a new theater related video on every theater Thursday. Plus I do bonus uploads throughout the week. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you get notified for all future videos and you get to join the theater Thursday fam. First, we take over Broadway and then the world. You can follow me at Kath underscore Steel on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's get into the video. Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Coconut Head, from Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. So first up, I'm going to go in with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I really quite like this. It looks beautiful underneath your makeup, but it's also very moisturizing. It's kind of the same consistency as the Hangover RX Primer by Too Faced, so I'm definitely a really big fan of it. Glossier was actually super, super nice and sent me a bunch of their makeup back a few months ago, and I really love a lot of their products, but this primer is definitely up there at the top of my list. This video isn't sponsored or anything, I'm just using it because I genuinely really, really like it. Now I'm just priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Fix. As you guys have probably noticed by now, I do have some hormonal redness and some hormonal breakouts, which, I mean, sucks, but it's part of life, and it's also kind of good because it's easy to do makeup if you're having a great skin day and it's super cooperating with you, but I think it's more helpful to show you guys how I deal with my skin when it doesn't want to be nice and it wants to ruin my life, you know? So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the original chocolate bar by Too Faced. To start off, I'm going to grab Milk Chocolate, which is a matte neutral brown on a Morphe M511 brush, and I'm going to put that basically all over my eye. I'm going to focus the bulk of the pigment really on the crease of my eye. Go ahead and do this with any neutral brown that's just a couple of shades darker than your own skin tone. Using the fluffy shader brush that came with the Naked 2 palette, I'm going to go ahead and take Milk Chocolate, which is kind of like a light matte cream, and I'm going to put that underneath the brow bone, and just the entire kind of upper section of my eye, I guess my upper inner corner, I don't know, I don't know how to really describe that. Just make sure that with whatever eyeshadows you're using for this look, it's crucial that you're using matte shadows. Shimmer and glitter will reflect kind of weirdly in your photos. I would 10 out of 10 recommend using matte. With a slightly smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with Hazelnut, which is kind of like an orangey brown matte shade. My eyes have a little bit of green in them, so if you look at the opposite end of the color wheel, red and orange can really bring out green. So I'm not sure where this footage disappeared to, but I lined my eyes very, very closely with a purple pencil from the drugstore. It's in the shade of Quartz from Wet n Wild, solid pun, good job Wet n Wild, and I'm setting it with a similar purple eyeshadow by MAC. I decided to use a pencil and shadow because it creates a much softer eye look. I am very much a person who wears liquid cat eyeliner in black every single day, but thick black liquid eyeliner tends to look really, really harsh in headshots, so I would definitely recommend using shadow or a pencil. Now I'm softening up the eyeliner just a bit with a clean eyeshadow brush. I don't want any harsh edges on that, so this is kind of helping to diffuse that. Next up, I'm going to take this nude pencil by Wet n Wild and pop that just in my waterline to kind of brighten up my eyes. Heading in with my favorite foundation, that's the Naked Skin by Urban Decay I Wear Shade one, in case you're curi curious, the word I was looking for was curious, I don't know what I just said. Honestly, like 90% of being a YouTuber is just re-recording things because your mouse hates you and can't make words right. <laughs> I'm just blending this in with the Real Techniques foundation brush, which I really, really like. I've been using this for quite a while now, and I am a big fan. Taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to tap away any of the harsh lines. Personally, I'd recommend just using a really lightweight foundation. You don't want anything too heavy. You want it to look like your skin. If any blemishes show through, I think that's kind of okay. You can fix that in editing, because it's really easy to edit out a blemish, but it's really hard to edit out redness or 
or any kind of discoloration like that, or a really cakey foundation. Going in with another drugstore favorite, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 15 Fair. Wow, try saying that five times fast, that's a lot of Fs. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to tap that on my dark circles and on any blemishes. And something questionable just happened on whatever YouTube video I'm watching. I always watch YouTube whenever I'm getting ready, either that or Netflix. Ooh, question of the day. What do you guys like to do when you're getting ready in the morning? Comment your answer down below. Next up, I'm just going to lock all of that in place with some loose powder by Derma Blend. Even if you usually don't wear powder when you're doing your makeup, I would definitely recommend wearing some when you're taking headshots. Not not only will it help you keep your makeup in place, but it'll mattify your face a little bit, which is really helpful if you're shooting with really harsh studio lights or if you're just using the sun. Real quick, I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy powder brush and brush away any excess powder that I have on my face. Time for eyebrows. I'm going to use the Glossier Boy Brow in black, which how did I not notice that I was holding the tube upside down? OMG, what a dork. This video is literally just turning into me heckling myself. Um, but anyways, if you don't know the Glossier Boy Brow, it's really excellent. It's basically like mascara for your eyebrows. It ends up looking super natural and it's really easy to use. If you have brows like mine, I would really highly recommend trying this out. I'm a huge fan. It's basically my new baby. Time for real mascara. I'm going to be going in with this one by Lancome. I do like it a lot, but you don't necessarily need to use this one. I tend to use drugstore mascaras. This is just the one that I happen to have on hand and open. I would recommend, however, using a defining mascara. That way, it lengthens and separates your lashes rather than clumping them together. Personally, I really love the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara for that. That would be an excellent dupe for this. So if you haven't tried that, I would totally recommend checking it out. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras and it looks beautiful in headshots. Time to wake up my face with some bronzer. Today I'm using Snow Bunny by Too Faced. For blush today, I'm going to use this one by Sephora Collections. Side note, why do I look so angry at this blush? What did this blush ever do to me? See, now I'm faking it again. Now I'm just happy. Oh, I'm so happy with this blush. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Anyways, it's in shade N06. Flirt it up. Wow, that was some really excellent and very natural enunciation. Nice job, Kat. You should be an actor. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with a combo of Chapstick and Crush by Glossier. So what I like to do is put on the Chapstick first, that way it kind of coats your lips, and then you go in with whatever lipstick you're going to use, and it appears a lot more natural. I especially like that for headshot photography. You can see it just kind of goes on really muted and almost like a watercolor kind of effect. So here is the finished makeup look. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. Like I said, I put out a new theater related video on every theater Thursday. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.